What happened? Kitty sneezed. Glass broke. Kitty, sorry. Oh, no worries, little kitty. It's okay to let out your sneezes instead of holding them in, as it can be more dangerous than broken glass. Really? Yes. So in today's episode, let me answer a risky question. What if you held in all your sneezes? Zoom in. Before delving into the consequences of holding sneezes, it's important to understand why we sneeze in the first place. This is a topic we have already covered in detail in our previous video. But here's a quick recap for you. Sneezing, also called sternutation, is your body's natural reflexive way of getting rid of something irritating like dust or germs inside our nose. When these unwanted particles go into your nose, causing a tickle, a message is sent to a special part of your brain. The brain then sends a message to all the muscles that have to work together to create an amazingly complex process that we call a sneeze. So in short, sneezing helps prevent you from getting ill or injured by the different kinds of things that might enter your nose. But at times, in social situations, we might feel tempted to hold our sneezes to avoid embarrassment. Well, according to some research, this sounds like a really bad idea. Yes, take for example, the case of an otherwise healthy 34-year-old man from the UK who pinched his nose and held his mouth closed when about to sneeze. And guess what happened? He heard a pop sound. Soon after, his neck started swelling. It hurt when he swallowed and even his voice sounded different. When he went to the hospital, they found out that he had torn his pharynx. The pharynx is like a tube that connects your mouth and nose to your stomach. But why does it happen? Well, that's because sneezing is a powerful activity that can propel droplets of mucus from your nose at a rate of up to 40 miles per hour. Why are sneezes so powerful? It's all about pressure. When you sneeze, your body generates pressure in your respiratory system. This includes your sinuses, nasal cavity, and down the throat into your lungs. Holding in a sneeze greatly increases pressure inside the respiratory system to a level about 5 to 24 times that caused by the sneeze itself. Experts say that holding this additional pressure inside your body can cause potential injuries, including pulled muscles, burst eardrums, ruptured blood vessels in the eyes, and even broken ribs in older adults. Not only that, it can also cause some serious complications to your body, including pneumomedia stenum, which is air becoming trapped between your lungs. Even worse, according to experts, the pressure caused by holding in a sneeze can potentially lead to the rupturing of a brain aneurysm. This is a life-threatening injury that can result in bleeding in the skull around the brain. While most of the scenarios we discussed are rare, it's wise not to take any risks with our overall health and well-being. So the next time you feel like sneezing, simply say, excuse me, cover your nose and mouth and allow your body to sneeze when it needs to. Trivia time! Did you know a sneeze can produce up to 40,000 droplets? Also, a single sneeze can send 100,000 germs into the air. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Samik Pinto. Hope you learned something important today.
Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind. <laughs>